Panther 8x8 Rosenbauer The Rosenbauer Panther is one of the most successful, efficient, and variable ARFF vehicles worldwide. Its multi-award winning design and powerful performance make it the most modern firefighting vehicle of our time. Design, technology, power. It's the combination of these factors which has made the Panther from Rosenbauer one of the most fascinating firefighting vehicles in the world of all time. The Panther shines through its performance, its extremely safe driving behavior, and the state-of-the-art and highly reliable technology. With up to 1,450 horsepower, a maximum speed of 135 km per hour, and up to 19,000 liters of extinguishing medium capacity, the Panther 8x8 sets the standard for engine power and extinguishing power. In addition, the 10,000 liter per minute pump output and acceleration from 0 to 80 km per hour in less than 25 seconds put the model in a class of its own. Devel 66x6 Big trucks are all the rage these days. Not just big though, really big. The Devel 60 is the latest six-wheeled monster to the scene and it comes from a company best known for the outlandish 5,000 horsepower 16. As for power, one would expect the 60 to house a version of the 12.3 liter V16 being developed for the company's hypercar. Again, there's no official word from Devel. But Shmi 150 says it uses a relatively conventional sounding 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8, producing 720 horsepower and 1000 newton meters of torque, which sounds a bit strange to us considering the torque figure converts to 737 pound feet. That's a low number for such horsepower, but hey, such is life in the wonderful world of crazy prototype vehicles. Man Cat 8x8 the 8x8 Cat 1 trucks are powered by a 360 horsepower MAN D2866 KFG diesel engine. Mounted behind the cab is the engine. This feature has allowed the overall height to be reduced. With up to 16 forward and 2 reverse gears, the engine is compatible with the ZF gearbox. Vehicles have all-wheel drive on a permanent basis. These trucks have been used by the US Armed Forces to support cruise missile units. Those were the Tractor M1001, the Wrecker M1002, the tractors M1013 and M1014. Licensed-built examples of the Cat 1 have been produced in Austria by OAF. Burlak Alexei Makarov and his small car factory in Yekaterinburg is making terrain vehicles of the kind the world has not yet seen. The Burlak, which is now about to come into serial production, is capable of crossing wetlands, deep snow, and even maneuver in open waters. According to the company product description, the Burlak will stay afloat without problems with 8 passengers and 2 tons of cargo on board. The vehicle rules the landscape with its length of 7.5 meters long and height of 3.2 meters, the width is 2.8 meters, and the tires as high as 2.7 meters. It has a light and solid bodywork made of aluminum and a 150 horsepower Cummins 2.8 ISF engine. Taiga, snow roads, mountains, tundra, ice, and open water of the Kara Sea. The Burlak has proven that it can cross all barriers, the factory says about the car. Torsus Praetorian Don't let the yellow paint fool you. The Torsus Praetorian may resemble an amped up school bus, but it's well equipped to make mincemeat out of rough, inhospitable terrain. According to the Czech Republic based automaker, the indomitable Torsus Praetorian was recently awarded the 2020 Red Dot Award in the product design category. Admittedly, the Praetorian is a bit overkill for the school run, but this hardcore off roader has conceived to ferry up to 35 passengers and equipment across the toughest road conditions. But this hardcore off-roader was conceived to ferry up to 35 passengers and equipment across the toughest road conditions. It starts with a heavy-duty TGM truck chassis from MAN, allowing the Praetorian to have an impressive 15.7-inch ground clearance. The bus is also fitted with front and rear parabolic leaf springs, power steering, and a 66-gallon fuel tank. The Torsus Praetorian is motivated by a MAN 6.9-liter diesel mill producing 240 horsepower and a gargantuan 629 pound-feet 925 newton-meters of torque. Power is transferred to all four wheels courtesy of a MAN semi-automatic gearbox with locking differentials, 
allowing this monster bus to literally climb over mountains. Equipped with 10-hole off-road wheels and Michelin off-road tires, no other bus can forge over rocks, gravel, snow, and mud like the Praetorian. Mercedes Unimog The Mercedes-Benz Unimog is an all-terrain vehicle that began its life as a tractor but quickly became known for its versatility and usability in numerous applications such as firefighting, mountain exploration, and paving roads, among many others. The Unimog is powered by a direct-injection turbo-diesel four- or six-cylinder engine with loads of torque, featuring Mercedes' emission-reducing Bluetech system. The Unimog's design combines a short front end and a wide field of vision with controlled braking behavior, stable driving performance, easy snow chain fitting, rear impact safety features, and excellent vibration protection. The Unimog's powerful hydraulic system with a working pressure of up to 240 bar can run an oil engine or an external control panel, making it suitable both for permanent consumers and for operating implements via valves. Because of their off-road capabilities, Unimogs can be found as military vehicles, firefighters, expedition campers in jungles, mountains, and deserts, and even in competitions such as truck trials and Dakar Rally raids. Sherp Imagine it's the end of the world. A virus has wiped out most of the population, or a catastrophic event has left most of the surface of the Earth unhabitable. You're one of the lucky survivors living off the land and moving from place to place once resources have been exhausted. You need a vehicle that's dependable, can go anywhere, and has extra capabilities to increase your chances of survival. This four-wheeled vehicle is actually amphibious and floats with ease thanks to a super buoyant body. In each wheel is an independent gas tank, capable of holding about 14.5 gallons per tire, for a total of 61 gallons worth of fuel. Oh, and the torquey yet frugal 1.5-liter turbo diesel from Kubota is good for 44 horsepower and consumes only 0.5 to 0.7 gallons per hour on any terrain. Oh, and those tires have an inflation and deflation system built in, allowing the driver to adjust the tire pressures to suit the terrain. A 5-speed manual transmission takes care of the power delivery to all four wheels and dispense with gradients of up to 35 degrees. Kamaz Master Dakar Kamaz is the largest truck producer in Russia and the CIS with its factory producing 43,000 trucks a year. Kamaz trucks have won the Dakar Rally a record 17 times, the most in the truck category by any manufacturer. Everything about the Kamaz truck is big. Take those huge wheels. They weigh a colossal 150 kilograms each, turning even relatively simple tasks like changing a wheel into something a lot more demanding. Overall, the Kamaz weighs in at 9.5 tons. But unlike regular trucks, it also boasts an ideal 50-50 weight distribution, which is perfect for handling. The Kamaz's 13-liter Dongfeng Cummins engine runs on diesel, and it can drink up to 200 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers when pushed to its maximum. It's enough to necessitate a truly massive 1,000-liter fuel tank, which is situated over the rear wheels to help achieve that perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Shaman. Shaman is a Russian ATV equipped with low-pressure tires, a perfect vehicle that makes off-roading more comfortable than ever. Optimal dimensions. The length of this vehicle is 6.3 meters and its width 2.5 meters. Such dimensions are uncharacteristic for standard cars. However, the size doesn't prevent Shaman from feeling comfortable within a city or on highways. All units of transmission of the Shaman are grouped in the tight water-displacing aluminum boat. For providing the standard thermal duty, the boat is compulsorily ventilated. Access to transmission units in the marching mode is provided from inside the all-terrain vehicle through quick detachable floors. <laughs> <laughs>